section, I'm gonna show you some pictures of yourself that mm -hmm. I found on the interwebs, and you're gonna tell Ooh. me the story behind it, okay? Okay, I'm scared. And first one is. Oh yeah, that was a major throwback, for sure. So. Uh, yeah, look happy. Yeah, I was definitely happy. That was uh, one of the first times I tried surfing before I lived here in San Diego. Like, I'll come to visit my family and my uncle shreds, you know what I'm saying? So he got the hookup on the boards. So I decided to step out, face my fears, see what's up with surfing and go out with my, my uncle and my big brother. And I let him show me up one time. I don't think I caught any waves despite me looking like a shredder <laughs> and despite the smile. I don't think I, I smashed it that day, but it was still fun. Yeah, no shredding, know. but it's yeah. still fun. <laughs> yeah, up tops. Next one. This is pretty great. <laughs> That's like your your little Camp Dappington prank. Yeah, I yeah. love it. That was like one of the first Camp Dappington brand type things I did off tops. So what this particular graphic is, I made it myself, as you can probably tell. Okay, <laughs> you got Photoshop yeah. skills? Yeah, you already know. But I was uh, doing a, a little blog before I had my playlist, Drew Dab Slaps. I just list out five slaps, five songs that I was digging that week. And uh, I think this was one of the artworks that I made for it. Like it even got like my old, old logo on there. So yeah, that's from way back, but it's I think, great. <laughs> thank you. I think I was wearing my mom's hat and that's what <laughs> inspired me to get these flicks and, and cut them up making a little edit. But my favorite part about this, I have to say, I kind of snapped with me behind the mountain passing off the doink. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's like some OG cowboy shit right there. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm still proud of that graphic design idea right there. Yeah, right? it's sick. <laughs> Look. Let's look at the next one. Hey, yo. Skater boy. Hell yeah, yeah. That's a more recent flick right there. That was from the top of the year, like early in 2021. It's my first time ever working with a skate photographer, actually. So shout out to the homie Bug. He's shot like a lot of dope uh, magazines and all that type of stuff. So I was happy that I could link up with him to work through like a bit of a different photo shoot from what I'm used to. So we went around town, we hit Balboa Park, which is where this photo was yeah. taken. It's like a eight stair, I believe. But we had a whole bunch of spots that day, but this picture was one of my favorites that we got because he only used the flicks that are lands, as he calls it. So like this yeah. kickflip, it was landed. <laughs> Landed. Yeah. Awesome. It might be a little bit rocketed, but it was still a fun day. And I'm hyped I got the kickflip on. And since it was like the pandemic, security was not out and they weren't tripping about us skating. So it all worked out. Hell yeah. And the next one. <laughs> Ratatouille. That's my favorite yeah, movie. Yeah, Ratatouille. Of all time. I love that movie too. <laughs> that's like goat movie right there so i pulled up to urban outfitters one day i saw they had a shirt and i said boy i'm copping that no questions asked so i copped this shirt and if you look closely i also got the icy eiffel tower necklace on if you guys are oh, man on that Oh wow, you do a full on <laughs> so, ratatouille it's a fit right there you know what i'm saying it's a whole ass but look. What inspired me to take this flick and embrace the look was the fact that like I just went on a a date, like a, a dating app date, which you never know how that's gonna go. Yeah, and I learned know. my lesson after this because homegirl said she did not like Ratatouille. Oh, and no. And I'm not even playing when I said I got up and walked away. Seriously? Like, being dead ass, like, I knew she wasn't the one right then and there, and I wasn't trying to waste my time anymore. So I got up and I left. She hit my phone like, what went wrong? I said, you know what went wrong. 
You don't fuck with Ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> You're freaking ripping Ratatouille. Yeah. How is she gonna say that? Oh hell no. I mean, uh, I don't know if I had to give it to her that straight, but that's definitely what happened. <laughs> wow, wow, that's a, that was an awesome story. <laughs> and the last one, you're like, yeah, I'm a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally what that face says. <laughs> <laughs> so that was uh, my first time playing a a downtown events. Las Vegas show. Shout out to Collective Zoo for putting me on the lineup. I opened up with my man's Yawa, who's behind me. He's also <laughs> doing the I'm a the, DJ. The other hand, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you can't see him, but we were both high. We played a back to back, so we were both like mega stoked on it. And oh, yeah. we warmed up the night for Vanessa and Walker and Royce and Sage Armstrong, too. So mega stacked lineup and we're happy to be a part of it and saw all the homies pull up Yawa's parents pulled up my, <laughs> my mom's pulled up so it was Aww, nice. so special yeah. <laughs>